Hi, welcome to another edition of Gut Feels with Dr. Ganesh. I'm Dr. Ganesh Ramalingam, General Surgeon at GNL Surgical Clinic. As part of the Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, I will be answering some commonly asked questions about colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is cancer that arises from the colon and the rectum. Collectively, they are known as colorectal cancer. The incidence of colorectal cancer in Asia has been rising over the last 30 to 40 years. And this is especially prominent in Singapore, Japan, Australia and Taiwan and a few other countries as well. In Singapore, it is the number one cancer among males and is the number two cancer among females. However, in the last decade or so, due to extensive screening and educational programs by our government, the incidence of colorectal cancer has been decreasing steadily, which is a good sign. Colorectal cancer usually starts as a polyp, and as the polyp grows, it becomes a cancer. The initial phase of polyp growth it is not a cancer or it is also known as benign and if it's removed at this stage, your chances of getting colon cancer is very minimal. At the beginning stage, there are no symptoms for colorectal cancer, especially if it's a polyp or an early cancer. But as it advances, there are likelihood that you have symptoms like bleeding when you go to pass your stools Secondly, abdominal discomfort or bloatedness. Thirdly, abdominal pain. Fourthly, at a more advanced stages, you might feel a mass or lump or you might lose a lot of weight. The commonest and easiest to understand is the group of people who have a family history of colon cancer, which means your close relatives, first or second degree relatives who have the cancer. Secondly, the next group of people who are at risk are those with symptoms like I've mentioned in my previous video. And the final group of people that we have to look closely into which is slightly increased risk of colon cancer would be those above the age of 50. Therefore, the Ministry has also advised anyone above the age of 50 to get their colon cancer screening via a colonoscopy every 5 years. For example, at age 50, 55, 60 and so on. In Singapore, the commonest method used to detect colon cancer, which is a screening tool for all colon cancers in Singapore, would be the stool test to detect blood, also known as the FOBT or the FIT. This is sent to everybody above the age of 60 to detect blood in the stools, which might imply that you have colon cancer. The commonest other tool that is used to detect colon cancer in Singapore would be the colonoscopy where you put a flexible tube through the back passages and check the entire colon physically looking for evidence of colon cancer. The newer method of doing colon cancer screening would involve a CT scan which is a CT colonography where we do in the CT scan we have evidence of colon cancer or early colon cancers. The stool test to detect blood can be done literally yearly or even less, six monthly if you are at higher risk. The colonoscopy, according to the Ministry of Health guidelines, is done every five years above the age of 50, for example at age 50, 55, 60 and so forth. There are two other criteria where the colonoscopy is advised to be conducted. The last criteria is that the previous scopes, if you have polyps or other abnormalities, therefore the frequency at which you do the colonoscopy has to be closer than the five yearly screening method that is recommended by the government. The final test which is the CT colonography is also similar to the colonoscopy and is also recommended approximately five yearly if warranted. I strongly believe in diet and lifestyle changes that can help you prevent colon cancer. For example, a high fiber diet, a low fat diet, drinking lots of water and avoiding a sedentary lifestyle. In other words, be more active and do more exercises. All of these can help prevent colon cancer. 
The next step beyond that would be to screen yourself regularly. According to the Ministry of Health guidelines, you should screen yourself every five years above the age of 50. Finally, and most importantly, if you have a strong family history of colon cancer or any cancer for that matter, please seek your doctor's advice to get your screening done early, way before the age of 50. If you want to know more about colorectal cancer, please visit us at GNL Surgical Clinic or make an appointment through our website at glsurgical.com.sg